Hello everyone, bonjour, I hope you're well, welcome to this travel vlog. Have you ever gone on a girl's trip that turned into a solo trip because you went through a friendship breakup mid-trip? No you haven't? Well, before this vlog, neither had I. But now I can say that I have. If you've heard anything about French work culture, you've heard that the month of May is very infamous for not having a lot of working days because there are a lot of bank holidays. I'm taking you along for, you guessed it, a girl's trip turned solo trip in London. So I woke up with a pimple yesterday morning and it was juicy by the end of the day. So I was kind of hoping that everything would be on the pimple patch. Yesterday was exhausting. I missed my train. I don't even want to talk about it. This was so infuriating. So basically, you have, oh no, it did get out all the, the pimple juices. So basically, I got um, at the station um 32 minutes before departure and i was supposed to be there um at the very least 30 minutes before but um one of the agents gave me the wrong direction uh, and said to wait somewhere instead of go straight to like scan my ticket so i couldn't go and i had to pay 50 euros to um get into another train but the next one wasn't available so i had to wait for the next one after the next one needless to say i was very very upset so i'm doing a quick quick skincare today we're going to go to camden market so i haven't been to london in seven years so since 2017 um, and i'm so excited to go to camden this is one, like, one of my favorite places i love the energy so this should be fun and it is also my first girl's trip so this is all the more exciting also, my friend Lauren, who you saw in my last vlog, left this morning. So I basically left Paris um, yesterday, but she was leaving today. So when I'm going to come back, she won't be here anymore. <music>
disappointed because I came to Soho to go to Kingly Court and try the photo booth, but it closed. All right, let me give you a quick haul of all that I got. First, whoops, let's hydrate because I am so thirsty. It is insane. I got this at Tesco. Um, perfect Ted healthy energy drink. Pineapple yuzu. So let's try this. Oh, it smells good. Ew. I, I don't know if I like this. So this is my brow flick in shade black. I love this. This is from Glossier. Had to pop into the store. I visited the New York, uh, the Soho flagship. So I had to visit the, Lo the London one. I went into Boots because I wanted to try and get the Bioma products. I wanted to get all three of the um, uh, shower gels, but they, they only had the hydrating and the sensitive one. I went into three different boots for these. This, this I tried this before. This is the Triple Oat Serum by Avino. And I have the Versed Day Dissolve um, Cleansing Balm. I love cleansing balms. If you don't follow me on TikTok, I have, I mean, you'd have to speak French because these are in French. I have a series where I test out cleansing balms. And I popped into the fresh store because it was really cute. And I wanted to get a bar soap for my bathroom because I don't have one anymore. I initially wanted to pop into Lush because a French a friend got me a honey whatever. Um, my brain is freezing. Um, a honey soap. Oh my god. So anyways, the Lush that I was next to was closed. So I got this. This is a Verbena soap and it smells heavenly. So um, I ordered some Nando's um, and I'm gonna just have dinner and pack my suitcase and yeah as you may have noticed the girls trip turned into a solo trip um, because I got a fight I got into a fight with my girlfriends to be fair I don't even know if we're girlfriends anymore um, but yeah that's that what I brought for my skincare I tried to keep it simple I first brought this cleansing oil from Typology. I brought my cleanser from Bioma, the Milky Moisture Cleanser. Then, of course, uh, thermal water. I tried to only take one hydrating product and I chose the glazing milk. So that I use day and night. Then, nighttime, I also took this serum, which is the Hyper Serum by Dr. Idris, followed by an eye cream and a lash serum, a moisturizer and my healing ointment as well as this mask the flash mask, flash mask sorry by dr idris and for morning after the glazing milk i packed this which is the major fade by dr idris i'm going to leave this out because i'll need it tomorrow morning and a sunscreen this is the beauty of josie and one as far as body and hair is concerned i packed a moisturizer, my scalp serum by Acton Acre, my antiperspirant, deodorant, perfume, this is the Juliet Has a Gun Juliet, this is their new signature fragrance, and the Olaplex number nine, number nine serum, which I like to use every day in my hair, and I, of course, had a little pouch with my face towelettes, my skincare headband, and the skincare, skincare cups. This is the Faded by Topicals, which I use on those two scars on my hands. And this is foot cream, which I also had in my body care routine. Of course, I had my oral hygiene products. I'm only packing back my toothbrush, my toothpaste, and my tongue scraper because I only brought enough mouthwash and floss for the trip, so I wouldn't have to pack any of it again. I also always had in my purse either this, which is like um, SPF spray, or this, which is an SPF stick, as well as this. This is a life saver. This is an anti-chafing stick. So this is also something that I had along with my Afro pick. And I want to show you what I packed makeup-wise. I'm actually proud of myself because I packed way less than I usually do. And I almost used everything, so that was good. Firstly, I had a few brushes in this KGHX Spectrum travel case, which is so, so practical. So I had that and I had like, I wanna say maybe five face brushes and about 
eight eye brushes, like small brushes. So I did everything I need to do my brows. This is rubbing alcohol, which I take on a comb swab before doing my brows. Brow pencil, brow gel, and brow flick by Glossy, which I love to like have like a hyper-realistic brow thing. Then for the eyes, I packed two of the two of the Maybelline eyeshadow sticks as like a base. Then two mascaras, one brown mascara and one black mascara, and an eyeshadow palette. This is the Master Matte by Mario. I packed two foundations, a luminous one and a matte one. One bronzer contour combo that is both cream and powder. Two powders, this is a foundation powder and this is like the Charlotte Tilbury one, which broke. I'm heartbroken and I might throw it out because it's honestly going everywhere, but I think I'll wait when I get home. Three blushes one powder and two creams. Concealer wise, I packed a color corrector. I mean, this like is like in between a color corrector and my concealer shade and my concealer shade, a highlighter. And finally, <laughs> onto the lips. I did try to not pack too much, but I had two, four, six lip liners, two, four, six, seven lip products, like glosses and lipsticks. Of course, I had a sharpener and my lash curler and a rag.